Welcome to the Islam Tribune. You are watching Superfast and I am Monisha Hani at the top of stories of the day. A minor girl was arrested from Guwahati's Bormotoria locality on Friday night for allegedly killing her mother. The victim has been identified as Manju Devi. The incident occurred at the Purnima Mansion apartment at approximately 7.50 p.m. when the accused reportedly struck Devi with a heavy object, killing her on the spot. The authorities arrived at the scene, initiated an investigation and detained the accused daughter. Assam has reached a major milestone in its tourism industry, recording over 1 crore tourist footfalls in 2023-24 as announced by Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma on World Tourism Day. This remarkable achievement showcases the state's growing popularity as a travel destination. The Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati has finally woken up to the issue of rising student suicide in the institution. In a bid to combat the issue and approach such problems, the coveted institute has announced several measures, one of which is a one-time medical checkup for students during the admission process into the institution. The celebrations following the Guwahati University Post-Graduation Students' Union election results were overshadowed by re reports of a violent clash between students from two hostels on campus Friday night. The students from RCC1 and RCC2 reportedly engaged in a fight stemming from a slew of issues including competition for the same post, a meme war that erupted after the election results were announced and one hostel securing more seats than the other. Assam Chief Minister and Charkhan co-election in charge Himanta Biswa Sharma announced on Friday that the National Register of Citizens will be implemented and individuals whose names do not appear in the register will be deported to Bangladesh. CM Sharma also revealed that Assam had already identified 14 lakh individuals who are not Indian citizens in Assam. One phase of the process has been completed and the Assam government have requested the Supreme Court for permission to conduct another revision. The second phase written te test of Assam Direct Recruitment Examination 2004 for Grade 3 post will be conducted across the state on Sunday with special arrangements in place to ensure its smooth and transparent conduct. The first phase of written examination for Grade 3 post under ADRE was held on September 15 with mobile internet services suspended across the state for over three hours to ensure fair and transparent examination. About 18.5 lakh candidates have applied for the various classes of Grade 3 posts. Suspected militants launched fresh gun attack at an isolated village in Juribam district on Saturday in Manipur around 11.30 a.m. Armed men fired indiscriminately at the low-lying Mongbang Meite village from nearby hilltops and surrounding thick forests, prompting re retaliation from village volunteers in the area. Security forces carried out area domination in the fringe and vulnerable regions of hill and valley districts, leading to significant recoveries of arms and explosives on September 27. The operations conducted by Manipur Police, Assam Rifles, Border Security Force and Central Reserve Police Force resulted in the confiscation of a wide array of dangerous items, underscoring the ongoing efforts to maintain security in conflict-prone zones. Five members of a family were found dead inside their apartment in southwest Delhi's Rangpuri village. Police suspect the deceased a man and his four daughters allegedly died by suicide after they com consumed a poisonous substance. The incident came to light on Friday morning when neighbors noticed a foul smell emanating from the apartment and alerted the police. The Israeli military announced on Saturday that Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah was killed in an airstrike on Beirut. Military spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Nadav Soshani declared on a microblogging website. After Hezbollah fired numerous rockets into northern Israel, the Israelis launched attacks that targeted dozens of their locations in eastern and southern Lebanon. That's all the news we have for today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.